Their Excellencies, the Right Honourable Dame Patsy Reddy, Governor General of New Zealand, and Sir David Gascoigne. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings to you all and welcome to Government House. I specifically acknowledge the Honourable Pini Henare, Minister of the Crown, Air Marshal Kevin Short, Chief of Defence, Rear Admiral David Proctor, Chief of Navy, Major General John Boswell, Chief of Army, Air Vice Marshal Andrew Clark, Chief of Air Force, Mr Paul McGill, National Commander, Urban, Fire and Emergency New Zealand, Commissioner of Police Mike Bush, Rear Admiral John Martin, former Chief of Navy, Akuya Terubwai Higgins, and Akumatua Himana Erawera. Tēnā koutou. It's a great pleasure to host this investiture ceremony and bring together 12 honour recipients, along with their family and friends, to recognise the contributions they have made to our country. I recognise that it's a difficult time for the family and friends of one of today's recipients who is no longer with us, and I thank you for coming to honour his memory. As Governor General, I have the authority and the privilege on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold an investiture ceremony for her and to confer the honours to which each recipient is entitled. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as each one is honoured, I invite you to join me in thanking them and congratulating them for their service to our country. Mr Hewitt Humphrey will now summon the recipients and read a citation for each one. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Lieutenant General Timothy Keating of Lower Hutt for services to the New Zealand Defence Force. Tim Keating was Chief of Defence Force from 2014 to 2018. Under his command, the Defence Force helped train Iraqi personnel to respond to the rise of ISIL in the Middle East and contributed to anti-piracy efforts in the region. He strengthened New Zealand's international military relationships and oversaw effective responses to a series of natural disasters. He championed programs such as the Force for Families Information Hub and Discount Scheme, the Operation Respect Programme, established to make the Defence Force a safer workplace, and the More Military Women Programme, as well as new mental health and well-being strategies. He oversaw the Defence Force's involvement in New Zealand's World War I Gallipoli Centenary Commemorations Programme. Lieutenant General Keating steered the development of a 10-year strategy for a more integrated Defence Force. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Sergeant Arthur Harris of Invercargill for services to the New Zealand Police and the community. Arthur Harris has been with the New Zealand Police since 1973 and is currently Officer in charge of Alcohol Harm Prevention in Invercargill. He helped develop and implement the programme offered by Frontline for Liquor Service in the hospitality industry and provides ongoing training and presentations to others. He's officer in charge of the Armed Defender Squad, AOS, and as an AOS firearms instructor, has placed a particular emphasis on safety. Sergeant Harris has been the face of the police in the planning of major events in the Southland area, such as the Bert Munro Rally, World Shearing Competition, Oyster Festival Weekend, and Fight for Kids. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mr Warwick Brooks of Tairua for services to Fire and Emergency New Zealand and the community. Warwick Brooks is Vice President of the Tairua Pawanui Returned and Services Association and has played a key role in coordinating local Anzac Day services and parades. He was Chief Fire Officer and Treasurer of the Tairua Volunteer Fire Brigade and for 10 years served simultaneously as Chief Fire Officer of the Pawanui Auxiliary Fire Brigade. He was a member of the Tairua Fire Brigade hose running team, competing regionally and nationally, after which he was a coach and competition judge. He sits on the Tairua Pawanui Community Board 
and has held roles with the Tairua School Committee and Tairua Rugby Sports Club. Mr. Mark Buckley of Littleton for services to Fire and Emergency New Zealand and the community. Mark Buckley is Chief Fire Officer of Littleton Volunteer Fire Brigade. Following the 2011 Christchurch earthquake, he augmented the brigade with civilian tradespeople and set up the Littleton station as a hub for local emergency services. Following de demolition of the earthquake damaged fire station, he oversaw the design and construction of a new station. He helped lead the response to the Port Hill fires in 2017 and supported local residents. Mr. Buckley has developed a team within his brigade who provide co-responder capability for St. John Ambulance, as well as school and community group education and involvement with Anzac Day events. Mr. Pete Dixon of Paraparaumu for services to the Coast Guard. Pete Dixon joined the Kapiti Coast Guard when it was part of the Kapiti Boating Club. He held several positions with the club, including Vice Commodore in charge of the Coast Guard unit. He was an active operational crew member, attending almost every operational search and rescue incident over 30 years, and worked his way up to the role of Senior Master. He sat on the inaugural board of Coast Guard Central Region. He played a key role in establishing a Coast Guard-based air patrol unit on the Kapiti Coast. Mr Dixon has been involved in sourcing a replacement vessel for the Paraparumu Coast Guard unit. Mr. Pete Donaldson of Katikati for services to the Coast Guard. Pete Donaldson has been involved with the Tauranga Volunteer Coast Guard, TVCG, since 1995. He's a qualified training officer for Coast Guard New Zealand and is involved with the training of all boat crew for TVCG. He's trained more than 100 crew to Coast Guard New Zealand operational level and some to skipper level. He also undertook the task of getting Makutu Coast Guard up to Coast Guard New Zealand Rescue Unit Standard. He's a member of the TVCG board and was recently made a life member. Mr Donaldson is a senior skipper and the maintenance officer for TVCG's two rescue boats.
Mrs. Elizabeth Haylock of Akaroa for services to the Returned and Services Association and the community. Elizabeth Haylock is Secretary Treasurer of the Banks Peninsula RSA branch. She's helped organize Anzac Day services and initiated an annual mid-year social function for the RSA members, as well as organizing the annual Christmas dinner. In 2006, she initiated and organized a community dinner to recognize local veterans. She led the establishment of a field of remembrance at the Banks Peninsula War Memorial Grounds. She established a War Memorial Register for the Banks Peninsula area. Mrs. Haylock has been president of the Friends of the Akaroa Museum and vice chair of the Stanley Park Reserve Management Committee. Mr. Graham Houle of Putararu for services to Fire and Emergency New Zealand and the community. Graham Houle has been a volunteer firefighter with Fire and Emergency New Zealand for 42 years. As Chief Fire Officer of the Putararu Volunteer Fire Brigade, he ensured the brigade met performance indicators, led succession planning, oversaw the brigade's high level of professionalism and performance, and developed a close relationship with Putararu St. John Ambulance Service. He's been part of the Bay Waikato Regional Operations Committee, the Auckland Provincial Sub Association, and various health and safety committees. Mr. Houle has been involved with Putararu Bowls Club, the Bowls Waikato Operation Committee, and the Bowls Waikato Greenkeepers Association. Mr. William McLaughlin of Invercargill for services to Fire and Emergency New Zealand and the community. William McLaughlin is Chief Fire Officer of the Wallace Town Volunteer Fire Brigade. He helped fundraise for the brigade as a founding member and as Chief Fire Officer worked with the Makarewa Lions Club and the Community Trust of Southland to purchase a new water tanker. He wrote a book documenting the brigade's tw first 25 years. He's been training officer for the Alliance Lawnville Fire Rescue Squad and played a significant role in the Biennial Operation South Training Camp for firefighters. He was president of the Western Southland Fire Brigade Sub-Association and part of the Wallace Town Community Fundraising Committee.
Mr James Simpson of Gisborne for services to Fire and Emergency New Zealand and the community. Jamie Simpson is Chief Fire Officer of Te Karaka Volunteer Fire Brigade. He's been President and Chair of the East Coast Sub-Association of the United Fire Brigades Association. He's a member of the Tairawhiti Area Chief Fire Officers Group, Te Karaka Health Trust and Te Karaka Ambulance Committee. He chairs the Tu Ake Te Karaka Community Group and the Rangatira Scout Hall Committee. Mr Simpson was Vice President and a Speedway New Zealand scrutineer with the Gisborne Speedway Club, a member of the Ormond School Board of Trustees and a coach of the Ngātapa Nippers Rugby. Your Excellency, to receive the New Zealand Antarctic Medal, the late Mr Andrew Leachman of Nelson for services to New Zealand's Antarctic maritime capabilities and scientific research. The late Andrew Leachman was a master mariner with more than 55 years of seagoing experience and has been regarded as one of New Zealand's most experienced and respected Antarctic navigators. Mr. Leachman was one of two Masters of the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, Fisheries Research Division, vessel James Cook, from 1973 until 1991, and then Master of the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, Niwa vessel Tangaroa, from 1995 until 2010. His time in command of these vessels saw him operate extensively around New Zealand and in the Antarctic waters of the Southern Ocean in support of significant national and international marine research programs. He had input into the design of Tangaroa, and from 2000 to 2010, he commanded the vessel on all eight of Niwa's Antarctic and Southern Ocean marine research expeditions, which facilitated the completion of extensive and groundbreaking biodiversity and habitat research and hydrographic and seismic surveys. He developed an in-depth knowledge of operating on ice-strengthened vessel in the challenging conditions of the ice-covered Antarctic waters of the Southern Ocean. During these voyages, he trained and mentored his crew to ensure Niwa would retain its Antarctic patrol and research capability after his retirement. He joined the New Zealand Defence Force as an ice navigation consultant in 2011. He applied his knowledge to help the Royal New Zealand Navy establish and sustain its new Antarctic maritime patrol and response capability. Mr Leachman coached and mentored offshore patrol vessel command teams through seven successive Southern Ocean patrols, helping to bridge a Southern Ocean knowledge gap within the Navy. The RNZN, as a result, is now safely and successfully providing New Zealand with a physical maritime presence in the Ross Sea and an improved ability to meet its strategically important international Antarctic resource protection and maritime security responsibilities. Mr Leachman's medal will be received by Vivian Leachman.
Your Excellency, to receive the New Zealand Distinguished Service Decoration, Colonel Ruth Putz of Upper Hutt for services to the New Zealand Defence Force. Colonel Ruth Putz was posted to the United Nations Truce Supervisation Organisation, and so from July 2015 to February 2016, and served as the Chief of the Observer Group in Lebanon, as well as the Senior National Officer for the New Zealand Contingent. In this role, she was responsible for all UNSO operations within Lebanon, the safety of the military observer group personnel under her command, and for maintaining liaison and cooperative working environment between the observer group, the United Nations Interim Observer Force in Lebanon, UNIFIL, and other UN agencies and local communities. As one of only two female commanders serving in the Middle East, both with UNSO and the only one in South Lebanon, her exceptional performance has made her a role model for women throughout UNIFIL and UNSO. Her work ethic and ability to build relationships with her counterparts and seniors across more than 40 troop-contributing nations, as well as community leaders and members of the National Military Forces, were significant factors in the success of her command. During this time, she instituted and completed a number of important projects, including the replacement of the force's armoured vehicles and an enhanced induction training regime for new observers. As the senior national officer, Colonel Putz added considerably to New Zealand's knowledge of current events in Lebanon, Israel and Syria. Your Excellency, the investiture is concluded. Ladies and gentlemen, an investiture ceremony is the most important event I hold on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. It allows me, as Governor General, to recognise and thank an extraordinary group of people on behalf of all New Zealanders. This morning's recipients have included members of the New Zealand Defence Force, Police, Fire and Emergency New Zealand, and the Coast Guard. And it's a further testament to the respect in which you're all held that we have present the heads of our uniformed services whose members have been invested today. You've been tasked with keeping our country and our communities safe, often putting your own lives at risk in the service of others in challenging and dangerous situations. Your courage and dedication is greatly admired by your fellow New Zealanders and brings to mind the words of another great New Zealander, Sir Edmund Hillary, when he said, if the going is tough and the pressure is on, then the quality to see in a person is neither great strength nor quickness of hand, but rather a resolute mind firmly set on its purpose that refuses to let its body slacken or rest. Please wear your insignia with pride, knowing that your communities appreciate and value your work and are inspired by your example. On behalf of the Queen and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you and I thank you for your service to our country. Kia ora hui hui tato katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that almost brings to an end the formal part of today's ceremony. But before we conclude and go through for refreshments, 
May I ask you all to stand and join me in singing our national anthem in Māori and in English. <laughs> 